All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking one-time pad. All right, one-time pad is a mathematically unbreakable cipher as long as you use it once. And first, we're going to use the ADL1 one-time pad printer. It's available at brushpeter.store. Completely off-grid device. A lot of details on that are up. Anyway, let's go on and switch this on. We're going to have a 250 digit pad. One of the pad plus the codec. I'm going to go on and generate it. All right, we've got our key. Switch that off. This pad can never be recovered. Right, there is no recoverable data off of this device. Now, this is a practice key. Normally in practice, we would need two. But we have our one. Let's talk about how this works. So I've got a message that's written out right here. Link up point at store. How do I turn this into numbers? The codec down at the bottom. So I'm going to take each one of the letters and I'm going to convert them into numbers using the conversion table that we have here. Seventy-eight. India is going to be three. November is going to give me four. Kilo will be 77. Uniform is going to give me 84. Papa. Oh, goodness gracious, where is it? 8 zero. Eight zero. Oscar is going to be 5. India will be three. November is four. Tango is going to be six. Alpha is one. Tango again is six. Sierra eighty three. Tango, six. Oscar is five. Romeo, eight, two. And Echo is going to be two. Worked out perfect. All right. So we've got our key. Quick orientation to the key. You'll notice that our key is 57279. It's a little light, and we'll bring it up there. That is the key number. And you'll notice that 57279 is repeated yet again. One of the most common mistakes people make when they're encoding a one-time pad is they will use the key itself. You're not going to do that. It's just going to look like this. In order to not make that error, I always write the key out to the side. Put a little box around it. All right. And we're just going to go from right to left. We'll fill in the digits. Don't worry about the gaps. The five character gaps are there just so your eyes don't kind of get crossed. And you make errors in transcription. Right, fill them in. 
Now you'll notice on here, you get your hash here. You see where it says E minus D plus T over K. All right, that's just a little mnemonic device so that you remember. To encrypt, we subtract. To decrypt, we add. And the transcribed message is always going to be placed over the key. So we've got our message, and then the key is under it. So we're going to be subtracting in order to encrypt. One from seven. It's going to be six. Notice that you can't take three, or you can't take five from three. So that is going to become a 13. It's going to give me eight. Eight from four. It's going to be six. Five from seven is two. Zero. One. Zero. Oops, make a mistake. Everybody makes mistakes. Now uh, from 10 is one, two. Four. All right. We'll just put a little star out to the side. Now we're going to check our work. We will write the key in yet again under here, and we're going to add it to make sure that our decryption is good to go. So it's going to look like this. Right. and we will add All right, message checks out, all right? Our math is correct. So then we are going to bring down our correct message that we're gonna transmit and we're gonna write it out first with the key. All five digits at a time.
So your transmitted message is going to become 5727967102641087623775224 This would be transmitted out to whoever else is in your group, resistance cell, whatever, they're going to have the matching key. How you get to that to them is really the hard part of this. And they'll be able to decrypt the message. You can find all this and a whole lot more. Brushpeter.store. Thanks.